Hi, my name is Dan. Welcome to my shop. And uh, if you're new here, this is where we build, maintain, and sometimes repair my model airplane fleet. Today, I wanted to introduce you to a new project that's coming up. Hey, welcome back to the shop. It's really good to see you here again. So an opportunity came up and I decided to take it. And it was uh, an opportunity to commit to building a plane in a certain amount of time. There's a club nearby named the Rogue Eagles. They're over in Medford, Oregon. And they're having a thing go on this year. It's called the Winter Build Challenge. You see, winter times around here are kind of awful. We have rain, we have snow, we have cold, and we don't really get out and fly sometimes for up to a span of about three months. I mean, the weather is just not cooperative during that. So unless you've got some kind of a special plane with skis or uh, some knack to need to be out and trying to control your plane with your fingers jittering and stuff like that, it gets real tough. So we have what we call a building season, and that's a chance to uh, increase your fleet because you've got so much time you're going to be stuck indoors anyways. It's it's kind of like having a, a yearly COVID thing. You know, you're stuck in a place. You might as well go ahead and build something cool. So that's what we're going to be doing this year. It's called the Winter Build Challenge. The way it works is you formally say, I'm going to take this plane and I will build it. And sometime in about March or April, the whole uh, body of people that are doing this, and I've seen quite a few of them that are signed up for it now, they're going to get together at the field in Medford, and uh, we're going to basically go ahead and maiden our, our projects that we started. So it's just a, a big event where everybody kind of says, hey, we're going to build a plane, and then they all get together and fly them for the first time. And it sounded kind of neat, so I thought, well, let's go for it. So I went ahead and chose uh, one from a friend of mine, uh, Bruce Tharp, who lives over in the Rogue Valley, uh, Bruce Tharp Engineering. So if the name Bruce Tharp sounds familiar to you, if you've ever built a SIG kit in the past, you might have seen his name on the plans. Uh, his plans include the Space Walker, which is a one-third scale, the single holer, not the double holer that they eventually made later on. Um, and then also, let's see, the uh, Four Star 40, which was a very popular kit, the Four Star 120, and uh, let's see, there was another one. Oh, the Mid Star 40. That's Mark's favorite. He's got one of those. He flies, it has got so many flights on, I can't even tell you. We've replaced engine parts on that thing because he's worn it out, but the plane continues to fly beautifully. Uh, and then there was one other one. Uh, it was the Sig Wonder, which was a little hand launch plane. <laughs> a lot of fun. So anyways, he's, he's got a, a very big history in designing model aircraft and they were all production models. Well, he kind of went out on his own and formed his own company, Bruce Tharp Engineering. And this, I think this one is the flagship of that. I mean, I think this is the first one he made because Mark picked up on it right away and he built one and he loved it. In fact, his another one of his planes that he's got a million flights on We've, re we've replaced engine parts in it because he's worn the engine out, but the plane continues to work flawlessly. So anyways, this is the Flying King, which I think is Bruce's flagship. Um, and this one's got a little twist on it. Not only is it a great kit to have, but this one has got um, a special part that we're gonna be doing. That's box number two here. We're gonna have an electric conversion on it. So this was originally built for like a, a Sato uh, glow engine, probably in the 80 to 91 size. This one has got a uh, electric package that uh, Bruce put together, formulated, and so basically it's a, a, separate, a separate piece that you buy. So I bought the conversion kit, and also I'm gonna convert this one. This was supposed to be a tricycle airplane. And this one's going to have a tail wheel on it. I like tail draggers. So anyways, if you are looking to get into building, you know, we've talked about scratch building and so forth. Um, but if you're not quite ready to go the step of scratch building, which is taking plans, bringing your own wood in and putting the plans onto the wood and cutting them out and so forth. This is a really good idea uh, for learning from a kit. And this is a very good kit. Uh, the wood that Bruce puts in here, he hand picks. He hand packs the whole kit. 
So this is something very special. I think if you were to say, hey, I want to try building a kit from the, from the get-go and start uh, with that and then work my way up into scratch building, this would be a great way to do it. Um, here's another thing that's, you know, I mean, besides, you know, I just kind of did a pan over of the, of the kit so you could see all the different parts in it and everything that's in there. But you get a set of plans. You get the, this has got the special conversion plans in it for the electric part too, because there's some changes that you do to the inside in order to house that battery instead of holding the gas tank. So that's all here. He's got all the templates and everything you need to have. Um, the instructions are probably one of the best set of instructions I've ever seen. They're very, very well written. And as you pan through them, you'll notice that there's little touches like, um, and I know you can't see it from here, but he's, uh, each one of these instructions where you're going to be doing things in pairs. So usually like there's a left half, right half, what have you on the instructions, they leave two check boxes there for you to check off that you did that step left side and right side. Pretty cool stuff like that. Very nice tips. But anyways, if you're interested in this plane, you can find it at Bruce Tharp Enterprises, or excuse me, Bruce Tharp Engineering. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce, screwed that up for you. Bruce Tharp Engineering.com. He's got all of his planes there. He's got several different models to choose from, but if you're just starting out, and additionally, this plane here is pretty close to a trainer plane. Uh, if you're just starting out in the hobby and you want to have a good sized airplane, this is going to have a very good big wingspan. Uh, don't let big intimidate you if you're new to the hobby because big planes fly better than little planes, trust me. And so this would be a good opportunity for you to get a plane that you can start off with, uh, learn how to fly. It's very docile and uh, you can do some other things fun with it too. Like I'm going to give this one a funky paint job when it comes down to it. It's going to be a military airplane. So it's going to be kind of fun. But anyways, that's, uh, this is my entry for the winter build challenge. And, uh, if you have any questions about that or, or anything, I'll give you the, I'll give you the link to their website so you can go and check it out and, um, and get you as much information as you want about it, but I'm down for it. I don't know what the date is that they're going to be doing the, the, uh, maiden flight. I think it's, you know, they got nice weather down there in March and April, whereas we're still going to be in snow and sleet and stuff like that at that point. So. I better get on this pretty quick so that I can catch up with it. I'm not going to do a step-by-step. -step. I will keep um, bringing you back and showing you where I'm at on it just so that we can get an update, quick updates on it. Uh, but we got other projects we got to be working on anyway. So anyways, just wanted to introduce this to you. And um, gosh, let's get building. Okay, we're over at Mark's shop. And, you know, I told you that I was doing the winter build challenge. And I wanted to go ahead and show you. He's doing it too, but he's... He's considerably further along than I am right now. So Cause let's you take, even started. yeah, because I haven't even started. <laughs> I, I showed him a kit in a box. So, anyways, this is this is Mark's project right here. Okay, this is a Cloud Dancer, which oh, there's a shorter version of this somewhere. Oh, it's right up here. Uh, it's all yeah. Okay, it's that one with teal on it right there, and that's the smaller version. That was Mark's. That's your first scratch built plane, isn't it? Yeah. 20 years ago. So this... I changed it to electric. Electrics are where things are going right now. But this one here is a 120... No, it's a 120 size. So we're, he's going to be putting a, uh, uh, a gas engine on this one. I'll go ahead and walk you over to the plan board here so you can get kind of an idea. Uh, the, this is all another scratch build. We just uh, got these plans uh, from the internet and then uh, went ahead printed them out just like we did with the Rebel and laid them out and uh, yeah he's already pretty far along he's, I think you should have to do two of these projects Mark that would be fair but look at that nice wing structure in there uh, this is a double tapered wing now the Rebel was uh, not a tapered wing it was just a single every rib was exactly the same and you can see on this one here how from here at the root it's a nice big rib but then you get all the way out here on the end, and it's just a little tiny thing compared to compared to the uh, root. So this is a double taper, meaning that it uh, not only tapers in the cord, which is the uh, width, or excuse me, the length from the front to the back, that's the cord, and so that tapers, and then it also tapers in the dimension you can see as the uh, ribs go down toward the tip, they get uh, thinner 
So that's, that's the second taper. So if you ever hear anybody go double taper, you can say, yeah, I know what you're talking about, dude. But anyways, just thought I'd show you his project. He's almost done. <laughs> you still hate me, Lucy? Yeah, she's still growling. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>